Hello, everyone. Last week was my one-year anniversary as Assistant Secretary for Insular and International Affairs here at the U.S. Department of the Interior. I am honored and proud to be in this position under Secretary Deb Holland's leadership, carrying out our responsibilities for the U.S. territories, administering and overseeing our federal assistance under the Compacts of Free Association, supporting U.S. foreign policy with international engagement, and coordinating ocean and coastal programs across the department's bureaus and federal, state, and territorial partners. As I said a year ago, my team and I are moving full speed ahead on a path that supports everything from climate resilience and responsible clean energy development to building an equitable and inclusive future for everyone. Today, I would like to share some of the great work we have done since I took this position. Our Office of Insular Affairs, OIA, has done tremendous work for U.S. territories and the freely associated states. Through our technical assistance program, we have awarded over $22 million in grants and interagency agreements to build capacity and support the insular areas in areas such as climate change energy, natural and cultural resources, youth programs, health initiatives, and health IT systems, just to name a few. OIA also held several successful workshops and plenary sessions, such as the Interagency Group on Insular Areas and the Territorial Climate and Infrastructure Workshop, both of which worked to provide the territory's information and implementation of President Biden's Investing in America agenda, including funding made possible by the Bipartisan Infrastructure Law and the Inflation Reduction Act. In addition, OIA helped organize and support a successful secretarial trip to the Pacific, leading the U.S. delegation for the presidential inauguration of the Federated States of Micronesia. Our OIA team also helped negotiate and conclude historic agreements with the Federated States of Micronesia and Palau for another 20 years of economic assistance under the Compact of Free Association and submitting the Compact of Free Association Amendments Act of 2023 legislative proposal to Congress. This past year, we have also strengthened global partnerships. Our international division supported secretarial trips to Australia, New Zealand, and Brazil with conversations on best practices on conservation and nature-based solutions to climate change taking center stage. They also helped facilitate a signing ceremony with Secretary Holland and the Republic of Georgia Minister of Environment to commemorate a new 10-year statement of intent to continue and expand one of the department's longest standing international partnerships. I also had the opportunity to see firsthand the great work our International Technical Assistance Program and their ongoing cooperation with Panamanian officials on renewable energy and combating wildlife trafficking. Likewise, our ocean team has done tremendous work with our blue portfolio to combat climate change, protect marine life, and steward our oceans, Great Lakes, and coastal resources. One of my first trips as Assistant Secretary was to Kona, Hawaii, as the lead of the ocean team co-chairing the annual U.S. Coral Reef Task Force to support coral and reef protection and natural resources management. Since then, our ocean team has moved forward on several initiatives, such as finalizing and approving the Ocean Climate Action Plan, co-sharing an effort to produce a United States national strategy for a sustainable ocean economy, charge the Ocean Co-Use Work Group to explore engagement and partnerships with tribes, and advance the appointment of the Ocean Resource Advisory Panel. All these accomplishments are just a few examples of the great work we have done to help advance the Secretary's and Department's agenda. I am immensely proud of my team for taking charge and tackling the challenges we face through collaborative efforts across the federal government, territories, freely associated states, and our international partners. We have done so much, but I look forward to what more we can accomplish.